What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So this is the um, Philodendron Bellmark vlog I promised you guys um, after the last houseplant shopping um, vlog. So yeah, there's going to be a few parts to this vlog, um, but they will all be labelled as we go. Um, so let's stop the talking and let's get into it. Hello. <laughs> um, I decided to come outside and do um, spray my philodendron bell marks down. Um, I just thought I'd quickly show you what I use. Um, and yeah, I hope you can hear me. Um, we're quite close to the highway here um, and it's a little bit windy. So if I don't feel that you guys can hear me properly, I'll just do a voiceover. So the things I use, just some plain water in a bottle. Um, I have just gotten into the Plant Runner Neem Oil um, Natural Leaf Shine. Amazing. Now the reason why I wanted to do this outside is because this does smell a little bit and I just don't want it to get on anything in my caravan so. And then microfiber cloth. So basically, you're not going to be able to see me very well but you catch my drift. What I'm going to do first is just spray it down with some water. I really want to get into um, like all the stems and stuff with just some water. No apparent reason really, I just like to spray them. You never know what's hiding down there. So just go along, spray it. Sorry, there was a spider. We're okay. Um, yeah, so I just sprayed it with some water. Um, I'm just gonna kind of leave it to chill with that water on, and I'm gonna go in with my leaf um, spray. Apparently, neem oil is really, really good for getting um, like dirt, dust, and pests off as well. So that's why I decided to do this. be getting it all over my pants too but do I care no they're going in the washing it's dripping all over me hang on <laughs> this isn't working you guys so go all over first as many layers as you can I'll flip it around in a sec grab your micro my pro micro fiber cloth and basically just wipe, gently wipe down the leaves as much as you can. Get all that dust and dirt off from the nursery. Um, or all the watermarks and stuff that you get from when they spray. Um, things, I also go down the stem a little bit as well. It's a really beautiful plant. I'm super happy with it. But yes, this is going to take time, <laughs> so uh, I'll add some music in and speed it up a little. <laughs>
I'm done. Um, yes, we have a casualty of war. Bound to happen. Although in saying that, I was being a little bit rough. <laughs> Oops. Um, so this, oh, I missed one, hang on. Wait. Yes, anyway, this is the final, like, product. You can see how shiny these leaves are now. This stuff is fabulous and it's like natural, organic, it's perfect. So I'll give you a little close up of what it looks like. It's just, yeah, it's a lot more shiny and there's no more watermarks and it's just really, really nice. So um, now the last thing I do before I bring it back inside is grab the neem oil spray again and I'm actually just going to spray um, where I sprayed with the water so um, in and around the stems and stuff um, I'm not gonna wipe it off I'm just gonna do a light spray um, just to ward off any pests or anything so Okay, setting up cameras for outside work isn't fun. That literally took me like 20 minutes just to set this flipping thing up. I'm doing it for you guys. So, change my shirt obviously, um, cause this could get messy. <laughs> Ooh. So first things first, I need to mix up my potty mix. So, got my tub. This guy isn't very root bound. Um, he's actually, hang on, let's get the sticky fly trap out of there. Um, he's actually pretty good, but oh gosh. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of the kind of soil he's in. Um, it's too dense for these guys. Um, or for any type of plant really and it was just from Bunnings so they're not always going to be in the best um, soil. Now <laughs> I've never actually um, repotted a plant this big before. This is going to be a challenge you guys. I'm tempted to actually try and keep it attached to this moss pole and take it out from there um, cause I'm literally just putting it straight back into this pot cause it's not rebound yet. I just want to give it some nice soil for springtime. I've got my rubbish bin here with some old soil that I tip out and we're going to do this. I'm going to try and push in the sides to loosen it a little bit. It's not the roots, it's, it's the soil that's so dense. It looks quite like airy on the top, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's not on the inside, so. Oh, don't wanna do this. I'm gonna just put it up on its side and hope that none of the leaves fall off. I'm hugging it now. It doesn't really, Feel like it's moving. Oh no. This is going to be the worst thing ever. I'm just saying it right now. And I can't chop up the pot because I need it. Oh, where's my spoon? Got a spoon. I'll get down there with the spoon. I don't want to force it out because I don't want to damage the roots at all. I'm just going to shake out some of the dirt. 
see where we're at, you guys. <sighs> If I can tilt it down a bit more so you can actually see what I'm doing. That's better. Okay, we're out. There you go, you guys can see a bit better. Ooh. Yeah, it's not too rebound. It'll still be alright. In that pot for another year, I reckon. But I want to get all the soil and get all the dead stuff off because it's pretty nasty. I'll just bring you guys closer. That way you can kind of see a bit more of what's happening. There we go. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. I just want to get rid of this and get rid of all the dead leaves off it, tidy it up, before we then repot it. I haven't lost any roots yet, so I'm hoping I can keep it that way, just by gently like massaging.
this guy is pretty much done. Um, all packed in and ready to go. Um, I'm going to move him somewhere <laughs> and go and get my fertilizer. I'll just put a little diluted thing in this. Um, and I'll also get my clippers and I reckon I'll chop a little bit off this guy. So a few of the dead leaves and maybe I might chop some propagation. So I'm gonna go do that, I'll be back. <sighs> okay. Right. So I'm gonna put the plant in here. Oh, yeah, now it's hit me again. So that it can catch all the water. Um, so I've just got in my little watering can, I've got a half strength dose of the Plant Runner indoor plant food. So I'm just going to give it a good thorough water now and wait for the water to come into the bucket and then I'll tip it out. So, as I was saying, there's not much I want to take off this guy. Um, it's looking pretty good. There are just, like obviously this one down here I want to take off to neaten it up. Um, that's all pretty good. There are a few like stragglers back here. These guys I want to take off. They were there when I bought them. When I bought this plant, sorry. And then like a couple of these guys, they're just leggy and I want to take them off. And some things like this was a broken one. I just want to go and this one and just tidy up some things like that. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's bring it back to my little humble abode. Okay. Finally opened the door to my caravan. I will turn you around and show you where this guy's going. This thing, I swear, looks 10 times better now that I've chopped it a little and just let some of these leaves looser from the totem pole. Welcome to my kitchen. On a side note, <laughs> this is where we're going to sort out these guys. Okay, so maybe I might cut you there. They're not growing in anything. Okay, that's one. So this is one cutting, I think. It's got some nodes and it's got some new leaves already coming through and it's got one aerial root there too. You can see that. So. That's one cutting. I'll let that callus over for a few minutes whilst I do the rest of them. Now, this is very hard because you're coming off somewhere different. So if I cut you, Number two, node and aerial roots. I don't know how this little guy is going to go. 
there is a node and there is a little bit of an aerial root tucked in there. So I'm going to put it in anyway and we'll see how it goes. Um, this guy is interesting though. I'll chop him up. This guy doesn't have a leaf on it, but there's a node and there's an aerial root. This is an old leaf, I think, yeah. So I'm actually think I'm going to put this in some sphagnum moss and see if something grows from it. You never know. I'm gonna try. And this next one, am I gonna to touch you? Yes, no, maybe. I'm not going to touch this one. I'm just going to chop it a little bit. No. This one is really, really nice cutting. It's got aerial root, two separate growth points on here. Three, actually. Three. Um, so I'm just actually going to leave this one as is. All right. I'm going to let them callus over for a few minutes so they don't die. And pop them in water. Okay, so that is the hard part done. <laughs> Re-cleaning, initially cleaning when I first got the plant, um, like cleaning the leaves and everything, and then repotting and propagating. And now I thought I'd talk about some of the care tips um, that basically I you do for this guy and this guy um i'm i'm no expert like trust me i'm not an expert in keeping house plants i've just learnt over the years i've done trial and error um and these are just the things that work for my plants it might not work for you guys you guys might have different ways of doing things this is just how i do it full disclaimer done um moving on so basically over the last like month or two, I don't actually remember how long ago it was when I got this thing. It's been a while. Um, I have not watered it um, since getting it because the soil is so was so dense that I couldn't water it because it wasn't drying out. Um, so I haven't watered it yet, but from the research I've done and I have had other philodendrons and I've got a philodendron mycins as well. Um, I've learnt not to overwater these guys. So basically, um, I only water when the soil is like bone dry. Um, I use a moisture meter, which I'll show you. Oh. This is my moisture meter so I use this um, I stick it into the soil I go down as far as I can um, with the moisture meter and then um, it tells me whether it's wet or dry um, I only water it if it's in like the red dry section if it's in there I'll go ahead give it a thorough watering um, I fertilize in springtime um, and I cut right back with all of that throughout winter. Um, but yeah, springtime and summer, I fertilize these guys using the uh, plant runner indoor plant food, um, which I found is like really working for my plants. So, um, and then yeah, I clean off the leaves. That's why they're nice and shiny. I clean them off with the neem oil spray, as I showed in the other not video scene where I was cleaning the leaves clean them off with that and just a microfiber cloth um, and give it as much light as I can at the moment this is pretty I'd say this is the low light section of my caravan um, it's only got this window up here one opposite which only covers like half of this section 
um, and a little bit from my the window on my door. Um, so it doesn't get much. This is probably the brightest light it gets, but it's still thriving and it has been throwing out a few new leaves. Like we've got new leaf in here um, since having it in this section. So yeah, um, that's that. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't really think there's much else. Like, these guys are pretty easy. I've Philodendrons I've always found are quite easy. Um, yeah, set and forget, really. <laughs> if you miss a watering, you probably might notice some yellow leaves. Or if you overwater, you will also notice yellow leaves. So, here's a tip. <laughs> when you see any yellowing leaves on your plants grab a moisture meter or even just your finger stick it down into the soil if your soil is quite if you can feel like it's quite wet it's a sure sign that the plant is has been given too much water so cut back on watering and let the soil dry out but if there are yellow leaves and you stick your finger or your moisture meter in the soil and it's dry, then it needs more water. There is a tip. Everybody seems to say that, you know, they don't know why their leaves are yellowing. Well, there's a tip for you. It's definitely one of two things. Sometimes it can mean pests, like you've got some pests in the soil. Um, if that's the case, I've, I've never dealt with pests myself. I've only ever had fungus gnats and I know how to deal with them. I've never had any pests in the soil or on the leaves. So I'm probably, I'm not an expert when it comes to that, but I'd probably say repot it. Um, get rid of all the soil that's in there at the moment and give the roots, um, some water, like spray them down to get rid of all the pests if you can and repot it into some fresh soil try some neem oil as well diluted neem oil in water um and give that a go apart from that i don't really know much else about it um yeah so that's pretty much it these guys are easy um so easy to propagate um i've propagated other philodendrons in the past and they're pretty good um so hopefully these guys are the same um just change out the water um, once a week um, and make sure that the roots are always covered by the water as well so yeah they're so pretty I like it <laughs> anyway so that is my philodendron bell marks vlog from start to finish <laughs> um, I'll give an update once this guy starts to grow again and yeah that's it for this vlog you guys um if you guys have any questions or any other care tips for philodendrons um please comment below i would really really appreciate it um and yeah give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel click on that notification bell as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new vlog anyway that's me done Love you guys. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you in my next one. Bye.